Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough for Dash Ghost House to get off to a spooky start. I want that. I, I really... <laughs> Just forget it. I don't want it that badly, I guess. <laughs> By the way, yeah, boos are fireproof. Never really mentioned that before. Uh, but they are weak to the uh, Hammer Brothers suit in Mario 3. That's pretty interesting, I think. Uh, I forgot which path I want to go. Not that. <laughs> There's nothing above there. Whoopsie. Well, at least I'll be able to reuse that angel block. <laughs> Alright, here we go. For realsies now. Bloop. And there. It looks like that mushroom is going to move away from you, so you want to chase after it by instinct, but then it bounces off of that block and comes um, back towards you. So it's kind of like a, a fake out block of sorts. I, can now, I know I could get a bunch uh, of coins in said ghost house, but. Mm, <laughs> I mean, uh, in that block. Uh, look out for this. What you want to do is get a power up from one of these and then stand on it. Don't worry, it won't hurt you. <laughs> Look at that, it actually takes you up above here to be able to get that star coin. Is that not ridiculously tricky? I think it is. Um, I just want to see what's over here. Come on, go. Oh, I can't go up there, can I? <laughs> Evil invisible coin blocks. You are my nemesis. So I guess I can if I break those, but I'm sure, yeah, those block me through uh, too. Oh, here's a balloon boo. When your back's turned, they come after you. When you're facing them, they inhale to expand their size. They are a pretty cute enemy, but they're really, really annoying with their constant sound effects. <laughs> That's my opinion on the balloon boo. Let's see, got sound effects here. I'm gonna jump over it. Oh, more sound effects. Oh, more sound effects. Can't stop doing those sound effects. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I suppose it helps so that you can tell what they're doing because their sound effects are different whether they're coming towards you or inhaling air. But it, yeah, it just, I don't know, puts me in a foul mood. <laughs> just gonna put it that way. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, I thought I missed something down there, but now that I think about it, I don't think I did. Um, okay, yeah, this is the side that has something that is missable. Unless you take this route. There's a star coin up there. And also, I do believe there's a secret exit here, as is the nature of ghost houses, and I could not make it to those blocks in time, could I? Aw. Oh, don't worry, you can hit switches as many times as you please here. Otherwise, if you couldn't, you wouldn't be able to finish the level. <laughs> I think I want to get a mini mushroom, actually, to finish this level completely. Um, I think it's actually above here. Maybe. Uh, not not a mini mushroom, I was thinking of the secret eggs. Oh, no, wait, 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 I already passed it. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, and this takes me back to the beginning, great. <laughs> oh, I can't sneak under there, double great. <laughs> um, you gotta get out of my way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna wait for the switch to, um, stop. Ah, stop. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Because I wanted to get as much time as I could to get over here. Um, the reason why you need a mini mushroom is for, um, right there. See that? You need to wall kick up into that alcove. But I don't have the resources to do it, and that's why I save those uh, mushroom houses. Um, yeah, and that also leads to there for the last star coin. So, Secret Exit and Last Star Coin is going to be its own thing. Uh, I don't trust this. There's got to be... Yep, I thought so. Something completely empty seems absolutely impossible for a ghost house. <laughs> okay... I bet there's one more block I missed. Eh, well. Whatever. <laughs> Probably I could get it with a mini mushroom. <laughs> Alright, so, will that angel block come over here? Because if so, I might try using the angel block, guess not. Um, where is an unused... here we go. 
Ready? Be sure to time yourself well. If not, you're gonna have to go back to that World 1 stage and beat... Or actually, go back to another world and uh, get a Mini Mushroom some other way, like beat a World 1 stage that has the Mini Mushroom. Yes! <laughs> I wonder if my decent timing on roulette blocks like that is due to my um, experience in rhythm games. <laughs> that could be a possibility. Wait, I went too far. Alright, so this time, I'm just going to run through the house until I get to that spot. Uh, this isn't going to replace my mini, is it? Okay, I didn't think so, because I was already... Uh, I mean, I only, I only had Super Mario power, not Fire Mario um, power, so yeah. And I'm going to go here. Mm-hmm. And go here. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Stop that! Stop that! Stop it! Stop it! Why are you so noisy? You're supposed to be shy, not noisy. <laughs> All right, now here. Wait, am I? Oh, this isn't the area yet. Jump the gun. I've got to go past this door, and then I'll... what the heck was going on down there with it? <laughs> it's like really expanding and contracting. Okay, here. I'm gonna lead him on this side of the room. I wait for this mini mushroom. Oh, one of them. That was a bad placement for me to uh, to use that. But it's okay. It's okay. We're good. Wait, wait. Oh, I need that switch on because I need to get on the pipe to get maximum height. Uh, okay, okay. Ah, you're so. Accelerate Ah, poopers. Yeah, the acceleration is just so slow in your mini Mario. Oh, I see on my camera I'm sort of kind of low on batteries, so... This and the other four parts that I made all in a row, I guess I'm gonna have to stop recording for today after, <laughs> after this part. Just so I can recharge ye old camera. Yeah, I've, I haven't made this many parts in a while. I mean, for a while, excuse me. Because uh, usually it takes me quite a while to make parts when there's a lot more production that goes into them, I guess you could say. Oh, there we go, that's why I need it to be um, that high. And now, yeah, they don't seem, I mean, that one doesn't seem to notice you for some reason when you are Mini Mario. Probably because it would be unfair if it came through the wall and ended up over here by the secret exit door. Because it would be like, well, how the heck do you get back down? You just end up wall kicking for infinity up there. And yeah. <laughs> So close! So close! <laughs> it's too bad that they don't uh, increase the pitch of Mario's voice there when he's in mini form. Alright, so where does this cannon lead to? Let's find out, shall we? 4 dash cannon? Leads to. Sea clouds in the background? World 7! Woo! <laughs> Normally you'd have to reach World 7 by doing one of those split exit castle shenanigans like I had to do in World 2 by beating the boss as Mini Mario. But nope, don't have to do it here. <laughs> so a, a lot of people as a result of that, they end up um, they uh, end up missing World 4 and World 7 because it's difficult to get to said um, uh, castle splits and cannons and stuff like that, and yeah. Anyway, 4-5, let's go. But of course, with enough practice, you can do anything. But anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna talk to, I mean, I'm gonna talk about World 5 now. It's the underground mushroom level with the introduction to bo -bombs. What they do is they explode and they destroy blocks. Even hard blocks can be destroyed by them, but they can't destroy everything. But they can destroy blocks like the two that you see right here. Just uh, hit them, and you can also kick them around, throw them, pick them up. Yeah, they're, they're just they're got some explosive personalities, and that was a bad joke. <laughs> oh, look out! Spiny's on the ceiling. Not your friend. Uh, how did I get it in there, of all places? Like seriously? <laughs> just want to see if there's anything. Um, the gimmick of this level is to use the bombs to get yourself through the level. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You can also um, 
get on top of stuff as a result of being able to break stuff with the bombs and whatnot. That also hides secrets and stuff. Wait, what's... okay, it's safe. It's safe. You can also uh, light their fuses like that. Uh, you can't really see their fuse being lit, but attacking them with a fireball like that will make them explode soon thereafter, like if you were to jump on them. Um, I'm going to just I'm gonna tap the bomb bomb like that there, and I should be able to get in. If you don't do that in your first try, you have that other bomb bomb um, on this bridge here. But yeah, it's not that big of a deal to time it when it gets near that. Um, oh, I was scared, but I wanted to try that. It looked like there could have been something there, and there was, sort of, kind of. Oh, um, this... This one can be either tricky or hard depending on where you get the bomb um, to explode. Like that, I had a pretty good setup there. But if you get it to be like right in the center between the bridges, or if it's too far off to the right, it's gonna be really hard to jump to. Anyway, look out. Look out above. You can jump on them because their bellies are exposed. Um, like, watch, I'll show you here. Like, see that? And then you can use them as. I suck. <laughs> And you can use them to guard yourself versus other ones, sometimes. Um, but otherwise, you you probably want to avoid them because it's a little bit tricky jumping on a, a, a moving shell. And get in... Oh, yeah, I have to drop a bomb down there. Oh, shoot. Mm. Get, get out of my way. Get. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> okay, another bomb. They just keep spawning from that pipe, so don't worry. I'm gonna do that and get out of its way. <laughs> yes! Made it. Now here, it looks pretty tricky, right? Well, it's not. <laughs> I just hit a bomb bomb right at that corner. And there you go, you've got the coin. It just breaks everything open like that. And the other ones will stay in their pen safely. Uh, so yeah, you just leave them be. Safe. Um, what do we miss? Just out of curiosity here. Looks like we missed some... Okay, that's that's the transition point between uh, the pipes. Okay. No, no, no. I'm not going to die here. Not with all... Not with all three coins. Things are going too well. <laughs> Please don't be a Goomba on the stairs to destroy me. Or something else to destroy me. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Uh, how many more levels do we have here? Because of the low camera time that I have here, I might... Yeah, I think I might want to cut it off here. Um, just to play it... So, well, you know what? I'll, I'll do a little bit more here. I'll unlock this route to save my game. And then go into the life house to fill out the rest of this part. Okay? Okay. I'm just a little bit worried about the camera and all. <laughs> the computer that I'm recording on, you know, it, it has a pretty much unlimited battery unless the power goes out because it's plugged into the wall, but the camera... The camera has another, another story whatsoever. Oh, Well, I got four. Yeah, I'm at 92. When will I reach that elusive 99 number? Who knows? Who knows? Well... I know my camera pretty well, and chances are I, I would be able to play one more level. So you know what? I will do one more here. So here we go. 4-6 starts. And I probably shouldn't have used that signpost as a save, because I, I was thinking I was gonna... Oops! I was thinking I was gonna end off the part there. But, I mean, that, and that's why I went over to the signpost to save. But yeah, I used the signpost. Oh, it's okay. There's more signposts in other worlds to save my game safely. The same Goomba! <laughs> it's because I'm missing the Koopa, and, you know, I'm expecting to land on the Koopa at that angle of landing, and... Mm, mm, okay. Koopa? Very good. Goomba? Very good. <laughs> okay, here you have a larger version of Dory. And it's pretty much the same Dory in every single way possible. <laughs> like, quite literally, it's just bigger. So it's just as safe, just as lovable, just as huggable. I would get a Dory plushie, wouldn't you? I knew you would. <laughs> you know, the best kinds of plush... I, sh I should say the... The franchise Nintendo has with the most plushie potential, I have to say, would definitely be Pokémon. <laughs> 
I mean, pretty much everything, every Pokemon is huggable to some extent. <laughs> I mean, just think about that for a second. There could be a plushie for every Pokemon, though that would probably fill up your entire house if you had every single one of them. But it would be glorious. Oh, it would be glorious. Secret block, right? Right? Wait, what? No, not there? There's a secret block somewhere in here. Somewhere. But yeah, house full of Pokemon plushies. You could have a plush bed. Have the best sleep of your life. I don't know, I'm just kind of randomly speaking here while, while on our scenic voyage here. Probably because this is what happens when I make five parts in a row. <laughs> you know, I'm still looking for um, a hidden block that I'm looking for. I know it's cryptic how, I, um, how things are going here, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm going kind of batty. Maybe it's a good thing that my camera's low on batteries here. Oh wait, it's not a secret block, it's a switch that I have to hit. Maybe I'm thinking- Oh! I was thinking of that other level I had the secret block that I already did. Whoops! <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah. I think I made like an eyeball or something like that, this, this coin pattern, or maybe it made nothing at all. Maybe I'm trying to see things that aren't actually there. <laughs> yeah, that was the, the pattern that first came to mind when I seen that. Anyway, I've, I've now bypassed a little bit of the level here. Uh, eventually, Dory would have taken you to this spot right here, and it would have led to this pipe, which leads to the end of the level. No secret exit attached, but there is something that you might want here. You want to get up there to... Yeah, this is the really obscure secret. Well, not. Uh, uh, it's the really obscure way to get to the top of a flagpole. You gotta do like a wall kick for for momentum, and then do two really short hops off the bricks. It's really, really difficult to do on this one. Just get a little low wall kick. Ah, got caught on the edge of a block. I know I'm low on time. Don't worry. I'm gonna try and do this. Before time runs out. Oh, I hesitated. Oh, why did I hesitate? I had it, I had it, I had it. And now I gotta find the signpost to save my game. <laughs> signpost. Signpost. Where are you? I need you. I love you. There's no signpost in this world. Is there one in World 3 that I have access to? Please, I must save my game! Please, I'm begging you, yes! Signpost, save! Thank you! <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I get back to finishing World 4.